A Novigrad merchant by the name of Sylvester Armello had hung a notice on the Novigrad board asking for help in tracking down a thieving imp. It seemed the merchant's guild was being pestered by a mysterious creature who kept stealing wares from its members' stalls. Geralt accepted the job. in all Novigrad. No need to push, enough for all comers. Uh, no one to push. Very good. Manners before trade, always. Let me have a look. for a few rounds of Gwent.
Greetings, Master. Hear about the contract. Really got an imp problem? Or is that just an imp perfection in the notice? You ought not jest, Master Witcher. I know the creatures are only to exist in fairy tales, yet I saw one with my own eyes as it stole from my stall. All right. So what's this imp look like? Like a mean, fat cat, but a very large one. Uh, this tall, see? And it walked upon its hind paws. What did it swipe from you? Once it was bread, uh, then a fish, then apples. It might not seem like much, but add it together and the business suffers. And I'm hardly alone in being pestered. It's nicked something from every stand in the square. So, will you teach it a lesson with your silver sword? Make it worth my while and I will. Demand for witches is high, supplies low. I pick and choose my contracts these days. Fine negotiation on your part, Master. So be it. We'll call it agreed. Relax. I'll help you. Small businesses are the foundation of a healthy economy, and so on and so on. Thank you, Master Witcher. I don't know if this will be of use, but most recently the thief leapt over that wall and ran into a passageway. It was the last I saw of him and a few of my wares. Merchant was right. Actually does look like a giant cat. My, what a freak. Looks like the imp dropped some loot. Another track. Drop down into the moat. Trail ends here. Every time you turn around, there's more scum in Novigrad. Didn't used to alarm me, it was inside. Paw prints end here. Boot prints start there. Could it be the Puss in Boots? Doors wide open. Interesting. A letter? Well, well. Our imp's at least literate, if not outright educated. Short letter. Jan, please, cut out this nonsense at once. This might come to you as a surprise, but a giant cat will tend to stick in people's memory. Why don't you pick some other, safer form, like I did? I've been walking around as a beggar for three years now, and no one's batted an eye. And such earnings, you wouldn't need to steal anymore. So, how will it be? If you decide on it, I'll put in a word for you with the king of beggars. Till our next writing, Lewis. P.S. Burn this letter once you've read it, alright? P.P.S. Yes, yes, I know, I'm paranoid, but humor me and burn it. PPPS. If I find this letter next time I come see you, you owe me a beer. A doubler. Explains a lot. And complicates matters. Need a good lead to track him down.
A woman's blouse, a man's shirt, a child's shoes, but only one bed. Lavender, strong scent. Enough to track him down. Sight. An elf and a guard of the Eternal Fire having a friendly chat. Friendly? Nothing further from the truth. This racist here has demanded to search me, for no reason at all. Use a non-human, I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't find anything on you. Now piss off to the woods, go play your flute. That was some pretty bad acting. Really ought to explore other career options. Petty theft, maybe. You dare insult an officer on duty? Let me give you some advice, mutant. Look who's talking. I know you're a Doppler and a kleptomaniac. Merchants put out a contract on me! <sighs> Always the same old shit. Hey, wait! Really want to see an angry witcher. Do you? Damn, I look old. Please, stop. I surrender. Might be able to look like a witcher, but that won't make you fight like one. You're donning your skins enough to know what kind of man you are, what you feel. I don't kill him, true. But then not everybody applies my rules, and not everyone's got my conscience. So start stealing somewhere else. Far from Novigrad, preferably. Golden Age of Dopplers ended here a while ago. I know, but I thought they'd not catch me. I thought myself too smart. Serves me right. Might have learned this lesson the hard way. Time to go. Somewhere far away. But first, take this. As a token of my gratitude. So long, Witcher. Uh, tough times. I met you, mate, back there at Loch Nguyen. Do to get a lovely 
Greetings, Master. Problem solved. Convince the imp to go back to the countryside to tangle horse manes and piss in milk, as tradition ordains. And how would I know you speak the truth? No trophy, no reward. There better be one, or you'll feel the invisible hand of the market smack you so hard you won't be able to sit down for a week. I'll give you half the agreed sum, no more and I'll not do business with you again. Armed ruffians in town. Scandalous. Trouble at the visage, end. The beastly eyes. This is magic that's made a mongrel of a man. Well, he ain't easy on the eyes. But you do kill monsters, don't he? And every so often a wyvern will eat a necker, but does that make it good? Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant. A freak. A useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay? From Leshens? That has no bearing. Asked you a question. How many? There's something to think about, folks. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all her at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. Fisher. Where do you get the name? Master Dandelion's poetry. The Kingfisher preened, then fell in the latrine. Know it? Yeah. Also know the one about Princess Annie, who drowned in the River Fanny. Uh... Yes. At any rate, the Kingfisher welcomes poetry lovers with open arms. Some of the brightest stars in the literary firmament perform here. 
Looking for a partner. Wouldn't mind a round of Gwent. Then you're in the right place, friend. If you'll play now, I'll stake the unique card from my collection. Sure, let's play. You win. Card's yours. How can I be of service? What are you serving today?
my eye on you, white one. Well, well, look who's here. The White Wolf himself in my humble establishment. How can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. Any needs, master? How can I be of service? You play Gwent, don't you? Oh, sure. Because I'm a dwarf. Is that it? Do you also believe I know every other bleeding dwarf in existence, and at the end of each day, I deepen the mine shaft in my cellar? So you play or not? I, I play. So play me. Stake a unique card, maybe? Why not?
can't rightly recall the last time I was so thoroughly thrashed. The card's yours. Tried your best. Tell me, who else would have worthwhile cards? There's Marquise Serenity, for instance. She don't boast about it, but she has one of the best decks in town, and uses it damn well. I know what I'm talking about. like everyone else. A witcher? Oh, hear about the notice by chance? Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this, when I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved Letta I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Well, well, ambitious. Perhaps, but they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. My time to change that, or if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime. As you see, can't manage it alone. Need a strong shoulder to lean on. Which your shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Plan's crazier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay, and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. Wanted, hot burning firewood. The Church of the Eternal Fire seeks to purchase firewood of the highest quality. <clears throat> Any man who can supply such product will not only be generously compensated, but will also aid the fight against heresy and lechery, for the wood will be used to build the pyres upon which mages and other such filth will be incinerated. His Excellency Cyrus Inkelkind Hemelfart, Hierarch of the Church of the Eternal Fire. Personal Announcement Widower, 60 years of age, of medium height, above average intellect, possessing a fortune in both species and real estate, seeks old maid or childless widow of a similar age or somewhat older, preferably from a landed family. Those interested are requested to send a missive with a faithful engraving of their likeness included to Poste Restante Gildorf, care of Romantic. P.S. No response will be given to letters without a full name and valid return address. PPS, women of the elder races, halflings in particular, need not inquire. Warning for new arrivals. Newcomers are hereby informed that in Novigrad one worships the eternal fire and only the eternal fire. The practice of any other religion will be treated as an act of heresy and punished to the full extent of the law, that is by public incineration. Particularly forbidden is the wearing of the symbols of other deities, the conducting of rituals in their honor, or the preaching of other faiths. His Excellency, His Excellency 
Cyrus Engelkind Hemelfart, Hierarch of the Church of the Eternal Fire. Gwent, Vime Vivaldi cheats to all Gwent players. The dwarven banker Vime Vivaldi is a villain and a cheat. Using typical non-human trickery, he conned his way to victory over me, then forthwith demanded I surrender my cards, without the slightest consolation or giving me the chance for a rematch. Anyone tempted to play with him, resist or regret. A well-wisher. Contract issued by the Temple Guard of the City of Novigrad. Fellow followers of the flame, in recent days several officers of the Temple Guard have been ravaged to death in a most bestial manner. An investigation has been launched to look into the matter, so the perpetrator shall soon feel the iron grip of justice closing around his throat. Anyone able to help the guardsmen track down and punish this murderer, or murderers as the case may be, is asked to report to the nearest guard post at once. A reward is foreseen. It is likely hereby announced that any man aiding or abetting these bandits or withholding evidence regarding these crimes shall be punished by torture, imprisonment, or even death. Sergeant Gilbert Witchkey. Weights and Measures. Now, we've read this before. Ah, this is the job for you, the bigger drunk. I insist. You copy them, God. No, you got booted first last time. You go right. Uh, help some fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches earn more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords open their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come, don't make us beg. What's the witcher for anyways? It's to help men in need. You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well, how long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. At home, we will go. Master Claytop heartily greets the challenger. Greetings to Master Claytop from Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? Yeah, I'll fight this Gregorio fellow. Your attention, please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, Georgius George. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? How much will you give me to throw the fight? Considerably more than if you win. Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. You'll regret that. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Geralt versus Georges George, the pile driver. May the better man win. Uh. 
Our winner and the tavern's new champion is the Witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. Archibald O'Neill is another brawler you can fight. You'll find him near the entrance to the slums. There's also Mortimer, captain of the guard. He can usually be found near the Oxenfurt Gate. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions. Try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs, slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I have more to say, 
Then please do. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. Know when a legend transforms into prophecy? When it gains believers? I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. I remember Ciri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the Rosemary and Time in their will. The Rosemary and Time? Where's that? As you enter the city through the Red Light District, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. 
I hope you find your Siri. Corrine Tilly, Oniromancy, the magic of the magic art of deciphering the past and the future as they appear in dreams is difficult for even a highly trained sorceress to master. Those born with the talent, however, excel at it without any formal education. Such was the case of Kareen Tilly, whose fame as a dreamer, as such diviners are known, had spread far and wide. This gifted woman could not only dream of past events herself, but also induce revelatory dreams in persons searching for direction or answers to specific questions. These abilities proved to be of great use to Geralt in his search. Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. <clears throat> the free city of Novigrad had known no king's rule for nearly 200 years. Francis Bedlam surely had this fact in mind when he anointed himself the King of Beggars, a title that mocked the pomposity of crowned heads while simultaneously stealing a bit of said pomp for itself. Bedlam was a pragmatic man, a trait of great use in his profession, which involved managing a network of thieves, beggars, tramps, and street urchins that trickled through every part of the city. His contacts provided him with the freshest gossip and tastiest morsels of information, and the cut he took of his subjects' earnings guaranteed a sizable income for the maintenance of his court in the putrid grove. Francis despised fanaticism and prejudice in equal measure, which meant that mages fleeing the witch hunter's pincers often turned to him for protection. Vimne Vivaldi <clears throat> The dwarves had been in the banking business since the legendary King Desmond of Temeria was just a snot-nosed brat in short trousers asking for more yam with his wed. Since then, the prominent dwarven banking families, the Giancardis, the Vivaldis, and the Cianfanelis, have only expanded their services, establishing branches in all the larger cities of the north. Vime Vivaldi carried the torch of this venerable tradition into modern times, growing the Novigrad branch of his family's bank until it was the largest in the city. Geralt and I had met him over a dozen years before our story begins, and had always appreciated his honesty and financial acumen. The latter he gave further proof of during the time in which our story takes place, for his bank remained profitable even in the face of growing non-human <clears throat> non oppression. Not hungry, not thirsty, but I sure wouldn't mind a round of Gwent.
ね。